Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Up Close with Lawrence. Of course, my name is Lawrence. Welcome to my channel. To my subscribers, thank you so much. And hopefully I can gain more subscribers with this Superman review of Ghost of Krypton. Ghost of Krypton action figure from McFarland Toys, of course. This is a totally different take on Superman. Um, I only have this in this series of four. This is one of four. I'm not planning on buying the others uh, because I'm not a completist. But anyway, let's carry on and let's review this Ghost of Krypton Superman. So friends, obviously you've noticed that the packaging is completely different. DC Direct, uh, but it's still McFarland Toys. Um, the back is the comic. So one thing I love about this packaging is you know, you can really see the action figure clearly. It's good if you're gonna hang this on the wall, if you're gonna display it as is, not to open it up. But in my case though, it's not that good of a packaging because you have to destroy the packaging. So he's finally out of the blister pack. You have the comics right here. Like I said, per figure corresponds the comic. Superman, Ghost of Krypton. Okay. Just kind of explains the story behind this Ghost of Krypton. And it comes with a stand and it comes with, of course, it's a page punchers. It says page punchers. So this is what this image is all about. You can just pause on that. This Superman is quite tall. Um, I was actually quite hesitant to buy it just because it's another take on Superman that I'm not familiar but still though I am a huge fan of Superman and hence I decided to buy it and personally it looks awesome it looks better than in pictures like the McFarlane toys uh, add-on pictures the ads it looks nice it looks fully armored the armor looks amazing. You can really see the detail on the armor. Okay. And it looks like this one here <coughs> looks like um, a robot, a robot head of um, Decepticons, isn't it? And this one here looks like a head of a creature from. Um, one of those 80s science fiction movie you know and this are removable okay it has a cloth soft cape which is great it's all removable friends look at that and articulation is going to be the same thing of course when you have the um, the armor it's more difficult to pose Superman because even the fist is fully armored okay so this actually gives him the power the energy uh, in the Phantom Zone look at that it's just gorgeous gorgeously done the details sculpture okay look at that s and here and the head of this creature. Now I don't know why, I mean it's an armor, yes, but how come the armor looks like this? I don't know. So it pivots as well, okay? And as well as this one here, it pivots. And it looks like he is wearing like a breathing apparatus. Uh, you have, covers up his crotch area and his upper thighs. And the back, as well as nicely done and you have armor as well on the boots lower thighs and plus his suit as well is also armorized okay now on how tall the superman is he is almost eight inches almost eight inches okay so definitely taller than your usual Superman. So this is the Action Comics 1000 and that is seven inches flat. 
okay that's how tall this Superman is so let's take off his armor okay so with this I think you can just remove it like so and you can see the armor like I said nicely sculpted nicely nicely sculpted I like it and the soft cloth cape I like and then this one here I think you would need to remove the head let's remove this one first so for the hand armor here you have to I think oh yes oh that's easy you can just remove it like so okay so the plastic that they use for the armor is more pliable okay you can just push it like that and lock that okay that's for the left hand left fist and you have for the right one here again this just attaches to there let us remove that okay up there good this is a much bigger look at that that hits you you're dead okay amazing and you have this oh so look there easy the skirt so the skirt is just like oh you just attach it to those two pegs there okay that's a skirt it's like the new 52 belt and again the uniform here the suit is also armorized plus the added armor and then the back here let's remove it as well I don't know how easy this would be to put it back because it clips Let me just see just don't want to mess it up yeah it's here right there okay so it's like there's a hollow clip there and for the other side as well I think it's here yeah so these are amazing okay these are amazing amazingly uh, the scops are quite amazing okay so now we still have this and I think we can just take off the head okay there we go so let's have a look at how he looked like oh all right not bad and let's put it back here all right there it is I thought I would need a hair dryer but no so that is good oh and I met I haven't mentioned that the boots um, it's also thicker sole so that also adds to the height but nevertheless this is still definitely a tall Superman love his stance I actually love the face sculpt you know it's not of course smiling Superman especially with the storyline like you won't you don't want him to be smiling um, but yeah it is definitely a nice sculpt there so friends look at the armor that's a whole half pound of plastic here <laughs> well not half pound but you know what i mean quite a bit of plastic quite a bit of sculpt that's amazing but let's focus on kalel here i love the sculpt of the face different from any other mcfarland toy superman it's actually quite it looks premium actually the face sculpt looks premium okay I like it it has a neck which is good it can look up 
and definitely can look down. Um, the chest emblem is sculpted, nicely painted, and you can see the detail on the suit. Like I said, it's also, it's not just those armor, but this is still has some armor to it. Look at that, like straps. It looks like straps. Even his fist here has studs. And again, the boots. It's quite thick. Love that the cape is tucked in in a way that it creates a bit of depth you know it creates a bit of depth it's not just one layer of cape too bad it's not um, wired but this is actually a regular price of McFarland toy it's not even more expensive when you get a lot of plastic for it and plus a comic so that's pretty good Articulation is going to be the same thing, friends. Of course, you have the butterfly joint here. You have double jointed elbows. Okay, you have the updated um, uh, wrist uh, joint here. Uh, you have your torso, and you have the waist, and a bit of a turn on the thigh here. You can do the splits, you can do double jointed um, knees, you have still have the ball joint here actually, still the old style ball joint here, not the tapered one, not the sculpted one, and you have the toe break there as well. All in all, glad that I actually picked this up. And flying pose, let me see if he can Fly. there's no spare fist okay there's no spare fist and so oh he can fly right there too bad there's no spare fist but he can fly right there course we have the comparison time comparing it to my favorite Superman DC classic here the smiling Superman you can see that this Superman totally is very tall next would be the Superman here infinite earth um, which is actually a tall Superman to start with but still this Superman that we are reviewing right now is so tall. Action Comics 1. It's Action Comics 1. Okay. And let's add like a while back would be Action Comics 1000. So definitely this will be off scale. If you're into scales and things like that, you will be disappointed just because it's completely, completely off scale. You have Detective Comics number 27 here. And with this even being a tall Batman, but still the Superman towers over him. Here's Henry Cavill Superman, real live action. And as you can see, this uh, live action is actually a, quite a bit taller compared to the Action Comics 1000, but still, this new Superman here towers above everyone. Towers above everyone. So finally, this action figure scale well with Superman Unchained Armor. The color looks pretty cool. They complement each other, love the blue. And of course, the Unchained Armor is also Superman having armor, and but also not just an armor, but a complete helmet. Looks like a Japanese character. Now this Wonder Woman actually 
looks pretty good with this Superman. So friends, I hope you enjoy this episode of the Superman Ghost of Krypton. Um, for a completist, for sure, of course, you buy it. But but for non-completists, you know, I'm torn. I'm really torn. I mean, there are lots of plastic. Love the sculpt, don't get me wrong. I love the head sculpt of this. But it, again, it's not really a quintessential Superman, you know. It's, it's a different take on Superman, and I think that makes it quite unique. So just look at this, this armor. It reminds me of Man of Steel, you know, the armor of, of Zod and the rest of the gang. But yeah, love the sculpt. But this off-scale, the height of this being so tall, it will actually definitely towers above the rest of your Superman McFarlane Toys action figure. No doubt about that. If you're not into having a perfect scale, then it is all right. But if you are, you will be disappointed by it. But just the cloth cape is amazing. I love that. <laughs> I love that. So again, friends, uh, if you haven't, please don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel, share my channel to your friends, of course, and hopefully you can click the bell as well, okay? Until my next episode, and thank you so much. See you soon.